Yu-Gi-Oh! is one of the most difficult trading card games to get into, unless you know where to begin. Starting from absolutely nothing and a budget of £40 per week, we set out on a fresh journey to climb our way to the top tables of competitive play. To make the journey even harder, there's going to be a series of obstacles in our way. Not only are we restricted to sealed official product, but certain items like Structure Decks and Dual Devastator are off-limits and locked behind a number of challenges. Join us as we prove ourselves to be a true duelist and turn this into a competitive monster. You're watching Yu-Gi-Oh! From Scratch, Challenge Mode. Welcome to episode 9. In the last one, we got our hands on two copies of Tanky, Obedient Schooled, and we summoned Dad to complete the last of the Structure Deck challenges. That means today we can actually reap the rewards and cash in those challenges to purchase our second structure deck of the series so far. Our deck should be looking mighty fine by the end of it, but of course before we get into that, we got a couple of simps to shout out. So big thanks going out to Steven Chiapa, Sylvandis, and my guys are good enough. All of your pennies will be going a long way when it comes to keeping this series alive. If you watching also want to make a contribution towards the channel, then the links are, as always, in the description. Now, which structure deck do we buy? There's so many options out there that uh, all have the potential to boost our deck. Not only that, but we also want to get our hands on a copy of Tri Brigade Karas from Phantom Rage. It's a super rare, it shouldn't be too difficult to pull, but you never know when it comes to the cold, hard luck of the draw. So give us a luck point, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the series, and let's get this bread. Well, it's that time again, and we don't have £1.50 change this time. We have £2. That means we spent £39.50 today. Did you guess correctly which structure deck we were going to be buying? If you said Shadal Showdown 2, you stupid! For the last two weeks, we've been cutting the Shadal package down. Why would we want more Shadals? Come on now, we got oh, yes. structure deck Spirit Charmers. The actual core of this deck is terrible but uh dude th have you seen the card list for this deck there's so many g it's like a mini dual devastator box come on dude so many nice staples that is gonna buff up our deck so this cost us seven pound fifty we have the final eight packs from our phantom rage box so that's 20 pound in total there and i wanted to keep it a little bit spicy we have four packs of battles of legend armageddon we want to max out on obedience schooled now and get that second kalentosa and then we can be done with this set and uh i have a gambling problem because i'm really excited by the fact of maybe pulling 10,000 dragons it's never gonna happen but if it does yo two starlights boom let's go 2021 baby all right so uh We'll get into this in a second. I'm going to remove the cardboard from these because that's super annoying real quick. You know, it would actually be quite sad to get a 10,000 dragon out of these because it's so difficult to get them out of the cardboard without potentially damaging the cards inside. We'll see, right, we'll open one of these, we'll open one of these and then we'll get into the deck. We should be due one secret out of the Phantom Rage packs. Uh, obviously Zeus and Alpha are the big ones. We could maybe use the Tri Brigade secrets and Warning point, I also wouldn't mind. That's a pretty decent staple. No doubt though, we will of course get Dual Avatar Invitation, the worst one. All right, let's crack on in. We have Dogmaticism, ja, 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 Gigabyte, UA Player Manager, Darth Maul here, and Infernity Doom Archfiend. I never think this is a super rare. It looks so common. But yeah, not really gonna be too useful for us. Arcana Reading, come in the hand. Dual Avatar Compact and the Mutant. Equip spell. So garbage pack number one. We have a Trishula, two red eyes, and a judgment dragon. So we'll open one of the red eyes packs. Kalantosa, obedience schooled. Let's go. All right. Appliance or copy vocal. Appliance or dryer drake. We have number three, the seahorse, and secure gardener. That's unfortunate, but we did get dad after summoning dad in the last one. Very cool. All right, yeah, probably not gonna use it though, unfortunately. Okay, now getting into the structure deck. Lots of cards in here. Actually, a bunch of cards in here that we're gonna be using. Oh yeah, and we have our promos here as well. Very nice. Here is the structure deck and the playmat. Okay, that's everything in there. What promos did we get? Which waifu can we marry? Oh yeah, we got a nice, cute little token in here as well. We have... Hita! Oh! 
Oh, nice. Very pretty. Fiery girl. And we have the win and the area token. Very cute with a little Agumon down the bottom there. Okay, fireplace in the background looking all comfy cozy. So that's our, our little waifu pack. I suppose we can keep out the token. <laughs> this can be our upgrade from our Kaiba token. For when we do eventually get Nibiru, it might happen one day when we can actually summon five times in one turn. All right, getting on into the goods here. We have the collectible structure deck, the collectible legacy duelist duel links. Okay, moving on. We have Nefarious or Archfiend. Greater Inari Fire, we don't care about any of these Spirit Charmer cards because, you know, super rare Raigeki. Do we main deck this? I mean, I'm very tempted to. Very nice card, taking us back to 2002. Possessed Partnerships, Oza, Aria, Hita, Win, and all the familiars as well. Fairy Tale Sleeper, Rella, Luna. Could be a good normal summon, but I think we're past the point of looking for generic cards at this point. Normal summons, I mean, generic normal summons. We have plenty of those. Dark Doriado, we got Witch of the Black Forest, the Fag Veiler. We have our second hand trap. Hell yeah, that might come in clutch. The light as well can maybe work with our Levianir, so that's pretty cool. Denko Seka, probably a side card. Awakening of the Possessed, Secret Village, don't care. Knowledge, Terraforming, Eclipse, maybe a side card. Twinnies, this is our second copy. Going in the side, Dark Ruler no more. In the side, of course, we have Unpossessed, Kurogani, Aoi, Kurinai, Miyabi. Metaverse, we don't care. A second D barrier for the side. A solemn warning, probably going in the main. We can probably take out like XC's import for the Veiler and the warning. I don't know, we'll, we'll get into that later. And then we have the original art charmers. Very cute, very pretty. Man, the concept and the artwork of charmers was just so cool. It's a shame it sucks. Although Spirit Charmers is a pretty good card. So yes, moving on from there, we're gonna have some mighty fine upgrades tonight. We're gonna be eating the beef tonight. Moving on to the Phantom Rage. Let's get through these. Ja, 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 Conjurer, Geonator Transverser is a, a thing in the format right now. You gotta be aware of this. There's only one safe zone now. It's like a Orcist format all over again. Tri Brigade Rugal and Captain Oliver. Suppression, Plant Mommy, Free Range Monsters. Normal summon on your opponent's turn, very cool. And UA, man of the match, Lionel Messi. Let's open another Phantom Rage. All right, what have we got? Stained Greaves, Mutant Cry. We got the big tentacle porn, you love it. Conjurer, Geonator Transverser, and Feet Man once again. Indo. Unbreakable Mind, Expansion. Just uh, Stranger Things scenes here. Infernity Suppression and the Shower Room. All right, we'll open one. We'll open the Judgment Dragon Pack. Try your luck on the good boy. We have Dryer Drake, Format Skipper, uh, Skippy for season one. Miss you, boy. Invoked Elysium and a Malefic Paradigm Dragon. And we got the Trishula Fusion. Yo, that's two of the retrains in a row. That's really nice. Actually, a really good pool. Probably not going to use it, though, unfortunately. But, yo, it's going to look real nice in our binder. Phantom Rage. We are, of course, still looking for the Tri Brigade Keras. Super rare. Here we have Tentacle Porn, Wildcats, Lee Lee. The Libero Spiker and two Captain Oliver in a row, really. Mutant Blast, Revolt, Suppression, and Banquet of Millions. You know, Revolt's actually a pretty good card if we do go heavy on the Tri Brigade, Zodiac, Melfi stuff. We'll open another Phantom Rage here. See what we get. I'm going to be real disappointed if we don't get the Keras. Uh, all right, Cupid 4, playing the Golf, Geonator Transverser, defeating Evil. Uh, King Long and UA Hyper Stadium. We got the O2 Arena. Arcana Reading, Charging into Dark World, UA Man of the Match, and Expansion. Phantom Rage again. Not having any luck with it. Not really having much luck with the packs here. Raz and Ryu, Conjurer, we have Magical Broker, Ugly Little Fish, and we, yo, we got Alpha! Alpha the Master of Beasts! Bro, we can search this with Catty, that's so nice, and it's a staple. Oh, that's a very nice secret to get. I would have preferred to get Zeus, but I, I will take an Alpha Man. Yo, I, oh, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that. Catty is looking super juicy now, huh? Super juicy, oh, yes. Dude, our pools have been saved. Right, can we get another Obedience Schooled? 
If we get a second Kalantosa, I can replace the giraffe with that, so that would be quite nice as well. Um, all right, after Glow, we have Fire Flint Lady for the Infernobles, Black Whirlwind, and Intruder Alarm. God damn it, dude. Fossil Dragon Skullgar. We got the Greymon. Yo, is it just me? Or is that an appliancer coming out of his chest? Huh. Lore, dude. The lore. All right, come on. Dry Brigade Karas, where are you? We have Mutant Cry, Standoff, which is actually a pretty good card. This is basically a rota for Tri Brigades. It does come at the cost of being semi-locked out of the extra deck though, so uh, it really depends on how well we build our deck. I don't think we'll be using it though. We have Cupid 4, Reptile, and Chuchi once again. Tri Brigade Oath, Man of the Match, Paranoia, and Expansion. Oh, I, I don't think we're gonna get Karas. I don't think we're gonna get Karas. We have Libero Spiker, Gaga Gabite, Rugal, Penguin Brave, and Strangolanius. Yep, Revolt, Monsters, 1 or 8, come in the hand. Oh man, gonna have to buy in some more Phantom Rage. Yo, we got Alpha. Dude, it's so nice. Okay, final pack of the opening. What's it gonna be? Please, Obedience Schooled number 2. We have Kokimiru Drago, Appliance or Electro Lyrical World, Blackwing, Chris the Crackadon, Kakeda King. Man, that's so unfortunate. And we got Fossil Fusion. Well, the Battles of Legend kind of sucked in terms of cards we actually want to pull. We did get the Trish Fusion, which is all right. We got the Alpha, very nice. And we got some other nice generic staples to add to our main and side deck. Things are gonna be looking real nice. So let's go pop some of these in the deck and get that three win streak, I suppose, and take a look at our new Structure Deck Challenges Tier 3, boy. All right, so the changes we have made to the deck today, we do have quite a few here. Coming out of the main deck, we have our two copies of Ixie's Import. This is a very good card, but it is a bit more situational than other cards we could be running. So we've taken those two out. We can also say goodbye to Dad now. He came and he's now going away again. We no longer have a use for him, so we can take him out of the main. And I'm also taking out Shadow Fusion and popping it into the side deck because going first, it just isn't doing anything. You could argue that it's worth keeping in the main deck because our deck does relatively slow down games to the point where you have a bunch of turns, but uh, you're not really going to successfully slow the game down with a good hand if you open cards that don't do anything on turn one. So uh, yeah, that's my reasoning for taking that out and popping it in the side for when we do go second. And in the place of these four cards, we have a Solemn Warning and an Effect Veiler, our second hand trap. We have Alpha, which can be searched off of the Catty as well. And we're popping in the BLS back over dead. I love BLS. He's a toughie, okay? So uh, yeah, light and dark, very good card. Coming out of the side deck, we have Mistake. We put it in for the one episode and it's coming out again. We also have our Nexus and Unending Nightmare. And we're also taking out our three copies of Blizzard because it just isn't doing enough. And in place of these six cards in the side deck, we have Denko Seka against things like Guru, Altergeister, stupid decks like that. A second copy of D-Barrier, a second copy of Twinnies. We have a Dark Ruler No More, a Book of Eclipse against boards that have like Zeus or Winda and stuff like that. And we have Raigeki. I really wanted to main it, but it's the same situation as Shadal Fusion. It just doesn't do anything going first and we do want to go first. So when we go second, we can side it in over some of our traps. So after these changes today, I feel like our first draft of our deck is complete. And I know that doesn't make sense whatsoever because we're on episode nine, but let me at least try to explain. Looking at our main deck here, while it does have its issues, which we can fix by pulling a couple of cards and swapping some things around, it is essentially a complete deck. What I mean by that is every single card here in one way or another is serving a purpose towards the overarching goal of the deck. We're no longer just trying to fill in gaps with anything useful that we pull, we're now actually aiming to focus on improving individual cards. So instead of scrambling to form a strategy like we were in the early episodes, we now have our strategy and we are now optimizing it. So looking at the Dogmatica package for example, we have one Nadir and two Dogmaticacism in the place of the two Nadir that we should have. This 
also works for the two Adin that we have in place of the remaining two Ecclesia, and the Theo that we have in place for the Fleur de Lys. We're basically running like a budget version of the deck we're actually going for. In fact, the ceiling is somewhat similar, we're just lacking in almost every other area, so that's what we need to fix. It wasn't until I looked at our side deck today that I was able to make this realization because looking at our side deck now, it's filled with actually good cards. We have our board breakers, we have our tech options, we have our back row removal, every single card here is doing something useful and we are in a good spot. The same goes for the extra deck, literally every card in here does come up and has its use. When we started the season I honestly had no fucking idea where we were going to take it, I just knew that I wanted to build Dogmatica in one way or another, yet here we are on episode 9 with this super fucking solid deck that I never would have imagined us building. I'm so proud and happy with how well it's going, it's actually ridiculous. But yeah, that is our deck as it stands. Now let's look at our new structure deck challenges. This one could take a little while. When eight matches pull three core set secrets, we pulled the alpha today, so we've already won up on that one. 8,000 luck points, which is 8,000 likes on a video starting from now, so potentially over the next two or three episodes we'll have that one finished. That is where you come in, so make sure to like the video if you haven't done so already and get us to that challenge complete. OTK three opponents and resolve all three Levianir effects. I think that one's probably the hardest because we have no way of searching Levianir, but hopefully over time we will complete it. And then on the other side, we are still only just a three win streak away from that golden dual devastator box. So let's go work on that now. In the hot seat today for our remote duel, we have the first season two appearance of the big bad discord head moderator, Claff. Yeah. What do you actually what do you actually know about my deck? I know Zoo Dogma. That's it. <laughs> okay. Alright, we'll we'll see then. This'll be this'll be pretty interesting. There's some surprises in there. Uh high there roll two D six. Two D sixes, yep. Yeah, cool. So I was trying to think, do I take something like super tryhard or like do I take a meme because this deck's a meme? Okay. I'm not doing super tryhard, but you'll see. Anyway, high roll, yeah? Yeah, I got a three. That's a four and a two, so ah, six. Damn. Top two to the bottom. Un, the. Is that it? <laughs> yep, okay. All right, and I shall be going first. Yeah, sure thing. Good luck, Good luck. gamer. Have fun. You too. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> no, I don't like the sound <laughs> of that. <laughs> oh. You're in for a world of pain. I feel it already. Well, let's begin my turn. Wait, wait. Yeah. Drive Twin Home. Yo! Discarding Chagas. I know this deck now. How? Because I've played against it a few times and it's it's really quite simple, honestly. Unless you run any traps. I don't know what the traps do. I'm surprised you've actually ran into this deck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Lila's fine. Okay, summon Kisikir. I'm about to end your whole career. Yeah, go on, Link 2. Wow. Normally summon Ibrigay. What? <laughs> Whoa! Link 2. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Excuse me? Okay. You heard me. Yep. Oh, and uh, not to flex or anything, but summoning Collector's Kisikir. Collector's Kisikir in terrible lighting. <laughs> yep. Link 2. Yo, no Ibrigay effect, hell yeah. Shit, I meant to do the effect. <laughs> yeah, go on, I'll allow it. <laughs> I just got so excited to show off the correct things. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to link to Yoga. Yep. Into what's this? Another correct things? Wow. <laughs> Yoga effect? Yep. Wow, kiss a kill, draw one. Yep. Oh, um, one to specific card just because you know I went through the deck. Yeah, you can just do half. Link four, because I'm only restricted to fiends. Yo, abomination, pog. Pop my Ibley in the end phase, I dare you. <laughs> do it, you want no pogs. <laughs> and I'm going to set one, pass. I will draw for turn. Start with a tanky. You know what? I'm going to chain the tanky. Challenge. So this is, yeah, reborn for one of the twins. It's targeting that kiss a kill. Okay. Summon. For Thoroughblade. Ibli is zero, correct? Yes. 
Ibelina attack. I'll go battle phase. Crash Ibli. Into the In 1100s. Okay. You're on 6 9. Nice. Haha, <laughs> funny. Shall That's normal summon Thoroughblade. Using his effect on summon? No effect. Okay. On summon. Kissakir effect. Sure. Haha, He Man. This is where I'm gonna fuck you up. <laughs> okay, you're out of effect. Target, target kiss a character. Oh. Oh, then abomination, yeah, okay. Yep. Okay, pop. pop. You're a final upgrade. And you get to revive it and draw. Nice. I'll activate obedience gold. There's no life point cost, it's just a restriction after it is orbs, yeah? Yeah, I can only special summon beast after. Chain Yoga. Sure. Okay, then resolve this chain. Patty, puppy, giraffe. Ah, <gasps> no. Then effects negated. Yeah, sadly. Okay, kiss care effect on summon. You may draw. Wow. Wow. Hey, you can see Olga now. Nice. Melfi of the forest. Activate the effect of Melfi of the forest to search a Melfi card. Yep, that's fine. Search puppy. Set one. End phase. Activate puppy. Yep. Special summon. Obedience school. Pop chain giraffe. Oh, here it's, he's going to pendulums. <laughs> and abomination? Question mark. Yes, abomination. Once you pass priority, mm -hmm. targeting Melfi of the forest. Oh, stinky. Well, get rid of my negate. Thank you. Draw. Wait, turn. Yep. Rink. Two. Yo. So I turned two character mirrors into another one. <laughs> oh my god. No way. <laughs> is the summon okay? Uh, the summon is fine. So effect on summon. Discard. Discard Yoga. Target. Targeting your face down. I will chain Ice Dragon's prison. Targeting. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Smarter play is to get rid of the collector's rare Lilla, or a special summon to my field, and then banish both the Lilla and the Abomination. Okay. And then you still get your draw. Well, fuck you too. <laughs> do I? Wait. Yeah, you do. What's the exact wording? It's calling to activation, so you're fine. Oh yeah. Wow, that's so fucky. Okay, draw <laughs> one. Yeah. Normal kiss a kid. Okay. Summon secretary. Rink 2. Mm -hmm. Going to a crummy ultra kiss a kill. You might be wondering at this point why I haven't activated Puppy's effect to summon Kalantosa and stop him from climbing into the links. Well, haha. <laughs> yeah, the hedgehog's in her hand, of course it is. He also had the ash in hand for the effect anyway, so it doesn't make too much of a difference. But uh, yeah, going second, we couldn't push through the interruptions, unfortunately. So let's try game two, where we can actually go first this time. I really think this sort of matchup is just down to a die roll, because if you can interrupt the live twin plays, then you're basically good to go. I will start. I will be going first. Good luck, have fun then, gamer. I'll start with a foolish. Yes, that is fine. Send Wendy, Wendy effect. Oh, sweet Jesus, okay. <laughs> I will set Squamata. Activate Tanky. Search Rap here. Normal summon Rap here effect. Bunny Blast. Relay for Un Dridento. And I will activate. Add an in hand. Better not destroy him or you know what happens. <laughs> <laughs> pass turn. I will pass turn there. Oh, that's a pass, okay. Yeah, that's all I've got, unfortunately. I didn't, Draw for turn. didn't see the best stuff. Okay, let's begin. First action, main phase. Norma Kissakil effect. Um, I will Valor the Kissakil. <laughs> main. Okay. <laughs> Activate secret password. Yo, they always have the e telly. Okay, I'll drive to win home. Mm -hmm. I have twin home. Discard storm. Discarding storm. Ooh, it's a big discard. Uh, yes, you may special from the deck. I will, however, think on res. Is backrop secretary on summon of a cybers monster? No, it just whenever you have a cybers period. That's uh, unfortunate if you have backup secretary then. But here I'm gonna have to activate Dryden and target target Kiss a kill. Mining. Discard Yoga. 
Yo, you're going so nag. Yeah, it's fine. So nag, but I guess that's you, you get it all back eventually. Wow, that's a secretary. I've seen a lot of lists not play finite mining. Summon secretary. Yep. I need to say like, what the proper variants are. They fucking dogma twin outreach. At what point do you just drop the twins? Yeah, true. Just play zoo instead. Huh? Yeah, like much more impact Zeus rather than what twins give you. You're gonna affect anyway. Yes. Okay, you're gonna affect targeting. Probably going to regret this, but I will target the face down. I mean, it gets destroyed, so that's fine. School matter. Think of a activate effect. Beast in hand, by the way. Feels bad, man. That's fine. Clef's cam then started to die here, but he linked both of his monsters into a kiss a kill and then activated Avarice, drawing two cards. So end of main phase, because go attack Dryden. Yep. Main phase two. Set one pass. Oh no. I just draw for turn and pass it back over to Claff, where Claff activates Kiss's Kill's effect, but we negate that with Bell. Well, that's a fat pass. Oh <laughs> yeah. Draw. Stand by, mate. Attempt to go to the end phase. You know what? I trust my god. Instinct. End of main phase, Kiss the Kill, then go effect. Pop. Hey, then. Aiden effect. Uh. No. Oh, that's kind of sad. Um, still in main phase. Yes. I shall activate triple tactics and draw two. Oh, sweet Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. Aye. This dude has Aye. tactics. <laughs> Hell yeah. I shall set one. And set one. And now we attempt to go to the end phase for a second time. Yep, you're fine. Proceed. Draw for turn. Normal secretary. Ooh, okay. On the normal summon. I stupidly flip punishment here, targeting the kiss a kill, thinking that by dumping Entis, I can just clear both the live twins and lock him out of his place. The only slight issue with this that I do remember two seconds later is that Entis would be activating on a new chain, giving Lilla a chance to activate and just bring back the kiss a kill. Sending Entis here would actually achieve nothing, so instead I realize this and send the Apcalone instead, searching for Schism and discarding a beast. Plaf spins back her set monster with a unicorn and then punches in with unicorn and griffin for 4700 points of damage. Main phase 2, set, pass. Oh my god, really? <laughs> yes. Okay, I... Did you draw for turn? We'll draw for turn. <gasps> draw for turn. Stand by? Draw phase. Draw phase. No, draw phase. Okay. Challenge. Is that the rebound? Target. Kiss the kill. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I will normal summon Catty. Okay. I'm gonna fall right into this bait. Kiss the kill effect on summon. Then Lyra effect. Target Catty. Catty effect. On yes. Summon. Mm -hmm. Add a monster. I'll add a beast even. I'll search Alpha. Fuck, it does have Alpha. <laughs> Special summon Alpha. Let's see. Um, what do I attack? What do I attack? I mean, you can't go into access code talker with the Griffin. Attack the <gasps> Unicorn. Okay, I take 800. Main two. Wow. Yep. Set one, set two, end phase, catty. That is fine. Pass turn, go ahead. Draw for turn. Yep. Oh, I just realized, um, or is Kissicle light and Lilla dark? Yes. <sighs> Secret password. Um, you may search for a Speller Trap, or Monster actually, because you have both twins. Yes! Hog? Yeah, 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 mm hmm yeah. Very good. What, is that the level 8? Wait, on resolution, let, yes. me, read, let me read the level 8, because I, I don't actually know what that one does. <laughs> so, basically I tribute two rings, somehow from Hand or Grave, and on summon I can make it so she's a bad evening match. Activate Schism and activate Effect. Any response, question yes. mark? Nope. No response. Okay, so I will chain Ice Dragon's Prison. You you want to banish Ash, please? No. Or not even banish, summon no, it. I... Please, please. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, build a wall! Unicorn. Banish the Unicorn and banish the Dark Evil Twin. She has a name. <laughs> Lilla. And then Schism will resolve. And I will banish Apcalone and... Add in. Oh, sweet Jesus. 
summon Construct and send Kissicle. Okay. Wow. Um, that's a thing that just happened. <laughs> Where's your level eight now? Uh... Battery phase. Yep. Griffin into Cathy. Cathy can't activate because of Griffin. Nope. And just pass. Yep, we managed to turn things around. Turns out Schism is, of course, a good card, which does get us a Winda. And, well, Winda just wins the game. Also, super happy with Alpha putting in the work in his first match. But uh, going into game three, well, unfortunately, it just went the same as game one. We opened, like, three or four zoos and one should all monster. So, as soon as that got popped going second, there was just nothing I could do. Round two, we're up against Master Deck Builder Neo playing Super Quants with Shadals and Infernoids. This deck just does not die, it constantly floats getting bodies on the board through all the different effects that they have and their field spell is actually pretty insane. It allows them to easily cycle through all their different Xyz monsters until they have enough resources in the graveyard to bring out the Megazord, Great Magnus, unaffected by all other card effects. 3600 attack as well, there's only one way we can deal with this thing and that is with a beefed up Zaraboros. After stalling for a turn or two we eventually get the combo with Cross Sheep and Schism to get the buffed up Zaraboros 3800 attack and slap his metal ass back to Narnia. At least until he summons a second one that we no longer have an out for. Game 2, we get a reasonable start, pretty good interruptions here, we actually have our back row removal in the deck now for the field spell. We can end on a Dryden with 2 back row and an add in as well, not terrible, but Neo opens Shadal Fusion, Reasoning and Foolish Burial, that's pretty nutty. Our interruptions get us pretty far until Neo stalls us out for a good number of turns with Mystic Mine. We're not quite able to kill him when we draw into the Twin Twisters and then he's able to turn it around with the Infernoids into the Great Magnus. Round 3, we're up against Alice the Dual Terminal Simp, and the name is very fitting here because we're up against Evil Swarms. I mean, if we can't be an archetype that came out in... ...2013, then I will be very disappointed. Ophion Pass with a bunch of back row, including Deck Lockdown, which is actually quite an annoying floodgate here. We do, however, have plenty of interruptions to just wait it out and take the game afterwards. Game 2, we once again see an Ophion Pass with a bunch of back row, and Alice spends a lot of life points on a Strike and a Judgment, allowing us to just kill her on the next turn. This brings us to our fourth and final match today up against Globama, otherwise known as Beans, otherwise known as Fazos Babos, and we win the Rock Paper Scissors going first. Our hand isn't great, Adin and Dogmaticacism I guess is okay, and we have a punishment to follow it up. Fazos starts by normal summoning Sangan, and because it's him, I know this is only gonna go one way, this is gonna be some kind of meme. Linking off the Sangan into Almirage gets the effect, and we're gonna search for a Psy Frame Gear Epsilon. Ah, <sighs> yep, Psy Frames is going to be a horrible match because to win, you essentially have to do nothing, which I guess is kind of arguably our deck's specialty. And let me just tell you, it took 33 turns to finally get the win. KO'd by Puppy, by the way. <coughs> Game 2 wasn't nearly as long, but it was still kinda grindy. We did have him on his toes most of the game though. Equipping his Lambda with Dogmaticacism and then popping it with Punishment really put us ahead in the card advantage. And then there just really wasn't much for him to do until he eventually gets the Field Spell and the Trap card set up. He does try to dupe us when we go and punch in for lethal. Says GG question mark, so I reply with a GG. He drops the Trap effect to banish our monster. Oh no! Anyway! GG Fazos, GG. So that's two weeks in a row that we've been able to end on a 2-2 record. Our win-lose ratio is skyrocketing, man. Oh, this is a turning point. You'll love to see it. We're going to be positive in no time, and the win streak starts now. Already, the progress we have made today towards the challenges is looking real nice. Once again, we find ourselves in the position of a two win streak, meaning next week's remote duel is going to be the one that counts for Duel Devastator, and let's actually get it this time. I have a couple ideas on how we can maximize our chances for winning. We need to improve the consistency for one, so I'm gonna try and go for the Obedience School, the other two copies of that, 
and uh, it would be nice to get the Tri Brigade Keras. However, I'm out of Phantom Rage Packs, and I don't think the ones that I've ordered will arrive in time for the next opening. So, we're probably going to have to go back to Rise of the Duelist and hope we get some more Dogma cards. Either way, I think the challenge so far is going perfectly. That Alpha Pool is actually insane for us. I'm genuinely curious to see where we're at in terms of power level compared to the original Season 1 deck by Episode 10. So, if you want to see that in the next next episode if you want to see us face off against the season 1 episode 10 deck let me know in the comments and I'll definitely set that up because it could be really fun otherwise thank you so much for watching it means so much to me that you actually enjoy the crap that I'm spewing out into the world if you haven't done so already I would really appreciate it if you could leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with the series and with that being said I will see you on Monday for a second episode of arena and then next Friday hopefully with episode 10 of Yu-Gi-Oh! From Scratch 2. Bye-bye! Gravel road, I've been asked to slow down Fireplace to eat